Hey everybody, it's your girl, Nothing's Impossible, 77 straight out of Brooklyn. Today is Sunday, June 1st. And yes, I'm back to doing my videos on Sundays. Uh, I was talking to one of my neighbors and uh, sh she was outside with her little boy. And she said, oh my gosh, he saw me coming and he was like, oh, that's her. And she was like, oh, we watch your videos and whenever you sing your intro, he always laughs. So... This is for you, and you know who you are. Hey, everybody, it's your girl. Ooh, nothing's impossible. 77, straight out of Brooklyn. Yeah, I haven't done that for a while. Yes, I'm acting silly. Just came through really quickly. Oh, guys, before I even say anything, girl, I've been going to plays lately. Yes, honey. My mom, who is a woman of a certain age, um, she's definitely a senior citizen. She has never been to a Broadway play before. And I'm like, Mommy, are you serious? Like, where have I been? My mother's never been to a Broadway play. Well, that was then. But now she can say she's been to two Broadway plays in one month. First, I took my mom to see After Midnight. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? After Midnight. Yeah, it was so good. Fantasia was in this, and um, she did it justice. You know, she got that smooth, silky voice. Um, it was so good. Let me tell you something. After midnight, from the time it started, it was like bam, 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 da 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 da, bam, da 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 da, -da, -da, -da bam. Music, people jumping in the air, spinning around, tap dancing. Oh, the choreography was awesome. I think the Tony Awards are airing tonight too. I'm not sure, but anyway. Um, it was nominated for, I don't know how many, um, uh, oh, 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 seven Tony Award nominations. Look at this, guys. Seven. They were nominated for Best a Featured Actress, Best Direction of a Musical, Best Choreography. Honey, they better get that choreography. Because them people was dancing, honey. Made me want to get up and do something with my cane and everything. I was like, yes. Best choreography, best lighting design, best sound design, best costume design, best direction of a musical. Really good stuff. Very, very good. Um, um, now, this uh, coming as of June 10th, Patti LaBelle um, will be uh, in it. It's gonna. This is the lineup. Patti LaBelle, uh, then Gladys Knight, and then Natalie Cole. Uh, it finishes, uh, it's all the way through August, so that's going to be real nice. Mommy, did you enjoy After Midnight? She said, yeah, man. <laughs> so that was that. And then on Friday. So we went to see that um, two weeks ago. And then on Friday, I took her to see Raisin in the Sun, honey. With Denzel Washington. Child, honey, please. Mm -mm -mm. This was too good, honey. Um, Denzel Washington, Sophie Okanedo. Um, no, uh, Nika Noni Rose, Latanya Richardson Jackson, uh, Samuel L. Jackson's wife. Um, yeah, uh, the cast was crazy. And my little cousin is an understudy for um, Nika Noni Rose's part. And um, it was just awesome. Raising in the Sun was awesome. I enjoyed it so much. Oh my, I'm getting a call. Sorry, guys. So, so guys, I'm just talking as though I'm not realizing that I have a new hairdo. Yes, honey, I have a new do. Yes, honey, I am just feeling myself. Yes, and I'm wearing dark lipstick. How y'all doing? I'm <laughs> um, feeling pretty good, you know, about myself. You know, let me tell you something. It don't matter what... It does no. It does matter what you're going through in your in your in your physical body. It does matter. Excuse me, mommy. Just guys, I'm sorry. I'm just getting all get on here, but I'm sorry. What I was saying is, your physical body matters, and what's going on in this physical body matters. But let me just tell y'all something. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick by this. I'm, I said it. I meant it, and I'm gonna be here to represent it. 
your 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 spiritual body is so much more important we have this thing in this um you know right in this present time where it's just a physical fitness type of thing everybody's into physical fitness rightfully so your body you know is a temple you should take care of it however why do i feel like the spirit is in the corner somewhere curled up like a little ball going you know like a malnutritious child that's not being fed just as much as you're out there with this health fitness, this physical fitness, and this all kind of fitness, you all need to be spiritually aware. Take care of your spiritual bodies as well. Because I got news for you. This old physical body here, this old house, it's going to be tattered and torn and broken down eventually. I don't care how much you tuck it, nip it, lift it, stretch it, it's going to go down. This body is going to dilapidate. It doesn't matter. I don't care if you black don't crack, but eventually it will. They say that. Oh, black don't crack. Okay, it don't crack, but it will eventually. It doesn't matter how good you look. People say, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're a grandmother, Jackie. I can't believe you have grandkids. Mm-hmm, I do. But eventually you'll believe it. If you don't believe it now, just give me some time. You'll believe it. What I'm trying to say to you is, be mindful of your spiritual body. Are you neglecting your spirit today? You may ask, Jackie, how do you not neglect your spirit? Well, you feed your spirit. I feed my spirit with the word of God, which is the Bible, and all types of other positive things. But what are you feeding your spirit with? Because the same way that you could feed this physical body with things that are not good for you, is the same way that you can feed your spiritual body with things that are not good for you. Are you around people that are always negative? Are you around people that are constantly putting people down? Are you around people that always complain and never never see the bright side of anything? Is what are you lending your ears to? What are you lending your ear? Y'all know I'm 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 notorious for talking about my ear gates. These two duhas right here are my ears. Whatever goes in between them, it's my, these are my ear gates. I don't just let anything go in them. Anyone that really knows me will tell you, I will cut you off in a hot second if you're saying something that I don't want to hear. Now, I'm not telling you what to say, but I'm just telling you what I will allow my ear gates to house. I don't want no negative stuff. I don't want, to, I don't want, I don't want no stinking thinking. And no, I'm not living in a fairy tale world. I'm living in the world that I choose for myself. And I have a right to tell you that I don't want to hear what you have to say if it's not something that's going to edify me. Now, edifying doesn't always mean it's going to be doesn't always mean it's going to be great news. Edifying means that I will listen to what I choose to listen to. And you have the right to do the same thing too. But how's your spirit today? Are you taking good care of your spirit like you're taking care of your body? I see people doing this this uh, insanity workout and this, 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 and that, way back when it was Tybo. How's your spirit doing? What kind of diet are you on spiritually? What do you do to edify your spirit, to feed your spirit, to uplift your spirit? A feeling that it's gonna your spirit is gonna still be around even when this old tattered torn body's gone. I have a feeling your spirit's gonna be around. Yeah, that's just my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. Mm -hmm. So if you're not feeding your spirit with good things today, I think you should start. What do you do the first thing you wake up in the morning? What's the first thing that comes out your mouth? Is it a gratitude type of you know uh, conversation like? Like me, I try my best to stay focused on being grateful for the day as soon as I open my eyes. Or do you wake up and be like, oh, it's Monday. Oh, my alarm clock is too loud. Oh, my boss going to get on my nerve. Oh, them kids got to go to school. Oh, my back, my knee, my hip, my side. Oh, Lord. Oh, is that how you wake up? Well, I've got news for you. If that's what you've been doing, today is the day to stop it. It's not going to be easy. But try. It ain't going to be easy. Because anything that's easy to do is also easy not to do. It's easy to do and it's easy not to do. 
Sometimes I think it's easier not to do it because it just it gives you less responsibility or less accountability. Anyway, guys, I just call. I, I just call. I just call to say I love you. I just call. How y'all doing? I am in a good mood. Okay, all right. I'm 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 shutting my physical body down. I'm like, listen, I'm running this. My spirit is soaring. By the way, y'all know I have all these things going on with me physically, but do y'all know that my spirit is really well? I put my spirit, look, you want to, <laughs> Bible said test them spirits, try them. So you want to try my spirit? All right, go ahead. Good luck. All right, guys, I'm done. That's all I want to say. Happy Sunday. Go see After Midnight. Go see Raisin in the Sun. Raisin in the Sun is on till June 15th. Denzel is all that. Latanya, um, all of them are. I'm not going to do that. They, every last one of them are good. Every character. So, toodaloo, guys. Have a happy Sunday. Have a happy week. And remember, do something good for your spirit. Peace and love. Later. Y'all, I ain't going to talk to you about the weight loss yet. And no, I ain't have no weight loss surgery. And I'm not having it. I'm trying to do it on my own. Y'all, I ain't ready to show y'all no body shots yet. But child, can y'all see? Can y'all see? Double chin. Look. Just a little bit. <laughs>